James, man, it's freezing. Um, hello, vlog time. Um, from the sh 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 shed. Uh, good news. I'm getting it insulated. I managed to sort somebody out. So, um, thank you to Ian. Is it Ian? Somebody on Facebook. I've forgotten. I think it was Ian. Um, and so that's that'll be happening in a few weeks' time. Somebody come and insulate the whole thing, and uh, it won't actually look like a shed anymore. That's the only thing. Hmm. Anyway, um, let's let's um, actually. Can you see that back there? I got my little uh, box of tricks wired up, and uh, to put this on. Yes, the. I stick from eLeaf uh, was sent on to me by these guys, Inno Vapors, uh, which arrived today, and I am playing with. Um, now it's definitely pulse width modulation. I, I really, I, you know, that's probably not going to come as any great surprise to many folk. Uh, I really have to get on the forums and read some threads and see the conclusions that other people are coming to. Uh, as I, th I think I've read in some places that people saying that it's putting out more power than they would expect. Um, but I've got to say, I mean, looking at the spec, yeah, it's 20 watts. I don't care. Uh, 20 watts does me fine. Um, 2200 milliamp hour battery. This thing is just toty uh, or tiny. That's next to an MVP. Look at the size of it. It's just tiny. Um, I, I think this is absolutely brilliant so far. First impressions, very impressed. Really comfortable to vape with. Uh, if you didn't see, I did a quick review. It was just a quick look at this. This is the the dripper top cap uh, for the Kanga airflow adjustment thing. Uh, I put a video up. Uh, what I do have to say on that one, because I, I kind of cocked up. Uh, now, it was sent on to me by Spiritus Vapes. And... It's made by Arsimian, Arsimian, Yursimian, LLC in the United States. Uh, Lance and is it William. Um, no, Lance is. Anyway. Um, so they sent that on. It, well, Spiritus Vapes sent me on to it, but it's not Kanga that makes that top cap. Just want to make that clear. Uh, it's made in the States. Uh, I think this is a, a, you know, for a, as I said in that five minute review, if you're just uh, wanting to test your juices or you're just sitting by the TV and just. That's a bloody great wee thing. It really is. Um, now, what else has been going on? Uh, where's my cock? There it is. Sorry, didn't mean to say that. <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, that's how I fondly refer to my tank, my Aspire tank, uh, or my, my Nautilus Mini, which does look perfect on that. It really does. Um, there's a drip tip. There's a drip tip. Uh, what else has been going on? Just finished work and, and you know, like I said, I've just had my dinner on the diet. Um, thank you to everybody that sent me an email saying, yes, you need to go on a diet, you fat bastard. No, there was a, a few folk got in touch with uh, various diets and things like that. And uh, so I was reading up in that. So thank you all uh, who got in touch. Um, I've been... Who was the last lad that got in touch? I'd never heard that the five and two, or you eat for five and fast for two days. 
you only eat 500 calories or something and for two days. <laughs> um, sorry, I'm just, I, I'm, I'm oh man, I, I really need to get a, my head checked. I'm losing it. Um, and the amount of shit that bloody spam email that I get is just frightening. Um, who was it? Was it the... Uh, Oh, I replied to him. I replied to him. Um, right. What have I got coming? I don't need that. Uh, I've, I've told you about the, the eye leaf. The eye leaf. The eye stick. Okay. Numb that. That really is nice. Oh, that is stunning. Do you know what I'm going to try? I've got the, a little uh, doodah. I got, uh, just just for shits and giggles, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, it was, uh, who makes it? Uh, Oakley. A hacker tester. Um, so a thing like that. It's not the most accurate thing I've ever come across, but it does measure watts as well, which I kind of like. But, uh, so I just wanted to see what it said on the eye leaf because that's me at 11 watts and it's saying 10.1 10.1 watts it says that this is putting out and I'm actually at 11 watts um, hmm strange one Pulse width modulation, that confuses everything. Uh, right, enough talking about that. <laughs> what have I been vaping? I'll tell you what I've been vaping. I love my little Bob. My Bob mod by Meccano Mods. It's not called Bob, it's called the Exelixis with the Veritas on top. This is just... I actually dropped this on the floor two minutes ago, so... Oh, it's still working. I still, do you know the Veritas dripper? I, I think is it's a peach. I just love it to bits for the way I vape. Um, it's really good. I've also been vaping on my Nitro R a lot this week uh, because I, I'm finally going to do the review this weekend. And look at this. Look at that down. There we go. And now we call washed out. Almost human. You don't want to look at me anyway. Um, I'm looking forward to doing this review because I'm a big, big fan of this tank. Um, I like the original Nitro and I like this even more. The only thing that I would probably change in this if I could was I would like a bit more airflow. Um, that's about the same as the original one. Um, but it's really nice. So that review will be coming. Um, what else have I got to review? Oh, come on, Todd. It's like a shithole in here. I've got uh, that bin's full. Uh, I've got another wee dripper just arrived. Um, the Odin. Uh, I think it's called the Odin. I could be wrong. I've been known to be wrong. It's just a nice little dripper. Uh, I'm using the webcam. I'm not used, so this isn't going to be the best quality of this video that I'm recording just now. Um, but that came from InnoVapors as well. I like the machining inside. The machining inside's quite smart. Uh, but a little review for that coming. Um, what also arrived, and you know Celtic Mods, I did a review for their dripper. Um, well, I've got the Shamrock by Celtic Mods, or Celtic Mods, they're calling it Celtic Mods, no, I'm not calling it Celtic, Celtic, um, this is, a, you know, it's a copper mod, you're going, nah, it's another copper mod, um, I thought this was a, 
an 18650 only when it arrived. It's, you know, it's actually a mod modular one, uh, but the, the, you can just make out the lines in the tube and no more, but it's got switch on, switch locked. It's got a really nice, and it, it's, it's got like a pushing your finger and putty. It's got that kind of feel on the switch. It's, it's actually quite nice. Um, and the engraving is really heavy on this switch, once again. Um, so I'll be doing a review on that at some point. Uh, I've not actually vaped with it yet. I just took it out and had a look and a play and so on. And they sent me a t-shirt as well, which might, might fit me by the time I get around to the review. Is that talking about my diets? I was, wasn't I? Um, yeah, diet. Uh, I just went and diet chef. I did diet chef before. Uh, diet chef in the UK usually use a couple of stone, two and a half stone. So fingers crossed for that. Um, what else do we have? <laughs> I'm going to review this. This is the iJoy E-Top M. It's getting that cold in here. I can see my breath. Um, where did I throw it? No, oh, sorry. Where did I put it? Here it is. Here. Now, this is an 18650, 18350 mod. Basically, that's it in 18650. It's got big, huffing, huge vents around this bottom here. Spin it. And then that's it. It just jumps up to 18350. And it's got springy top. That's how you fire it. Um, put the silo on it. Unfortunately, I think it's got a 20 mil top cap. Uh, but I think that's to allow you to get your finger in there. Uh, I've got a battery I can still. Nice catch, nice catch. Uh, let's have a an IMR there. <laughs> it's like when you land a fish in a fishing boat and the tail's going like that. This is what it's like in the top. Um However, I do have to say that to vape with, <coughs> well, that was that was pretty crap. Um, I think that's a two ohm coil in that. That's why um, I will. I just want to show you it working. I'll get my Veritas. Because it's got a low resistance coil in it. Uh, what else has been going on? There we go. I, do you know, this is... I, I will... The future doesn't look good for this in a review, I'm afraid to say. It's a bit... Uh, it just feels a bit Mickey Mouse. Uh, however, the actual, you know, I, I like this. I do like this. Uh, what's the other one? Who's the other one that did? Um, what's his face? Leo. No, not Leo. Uh, was it Leo? No. Um, oh, there'll be people there going, oh, you should know the name of that mod. It was the one uh, Andrew reviewed it, and I think Scott I get you reviewed it as well. And I'm sure House of Mods was selling it at one point. Uh, was it the Mecca? Yes, unfortunately, I, I am over 18. Um, it was the Mecca. The Mecca by Bod. Was it Mecca by Bod? Bod. See, now I've got Bod going through my head. 
and uh, that just oh, just uh, get a grip uh, Remember this? <laughs> Bod was brilliant. Um, so that's that uh, thing. It's the the E Top M mechanical mod by iJoy. So a review for that will be surfacing at some point. Um, drawing a blank here now. They reviewed that. See what's in the box. What's in the box? Oh, did I mention this? I don't think I've mentioned this. Uh, this is from uh, Beyond Vape. Or uh, sorry, it's not by Beyond Vape. It's the. It's is it the same people that make the Oris? Um. This is a. Uh, 18650 tube, 20 by 1 threading. It comes with a top cap. It's 24 karat gold plated. So there's your top cap there. But, 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 it also comes with a hybrid dripper. Uh, another battery. And it, it, do you know what? It's, it's quite nice. It's nice. Uh, so there it is. This comes in 18650. You can also buy an 18500 version. If you like your bling, uh, 24, 24 karat gold plated mod. It's brass underneath. Whew. And it vapes a storm. Uh, this is quite impressive. Uh, and I like it in hybrid mode, it's quite smart. Uh, so a review for that shall be coming. Uh, I don't think there's anything else in the box to show you right this second. Um, go back to my wee e-leaf eye stick. I've got the dripper, the, not the dripper, but the tank that e-leaf do as well. That's coming from Inner Vapors. Um, Bod. You remember the names? Frank the Postman, uh, Anti Flo, Ant Flo, and PC Copper. <laughs> oh, that's excellent. Um, I don't think I've got anything else in the box. No, I've not. No, I've not. Um, so that, that that's really it. Um, on what's coming, I've, I've got a pile of stuff in the calendar that's, you know, you can go along and have a look and, and see what's coming up. Um, um, I've lost track myself what's coming up, so I just put it in the calendar on my Google Calendar for you, uh, Todd's reviews, and you can just go and see if you can remember what everything is, because I can't. Um, nah. <laughs> so much stuff. Uh, right. Um, gossip, rubbish, and all the other crap going on in the vaping world. Um, see, Mr. Basado had his, uh, put a video up having a blather with uh, Brandon from Evolve. Uh, this whole uh, the new DNA forty, or you know, you adjust the temperature. Something new. Um, and yeah, we'll wait and see when it arrives. Uh, see what it's like to play with. Um, you know, all the people that have been beta testing it have uh, been saying nice things about it, and. Um, Ah, I don't know. I don't know. I like to vape the way I vape. Um, I suppose you've got to try something new every once in a while. Um, vape to temperature. Set your temperature. 
I might being really stupid here, but that's kind of what I do already, isn't it? I know I don't set the temperature, but I know... Ah, I'm not even going to get into it. I'll still stick with my mechanicals. Um, but I still like my regulated. Um, what else has been going on? Um, that's about it. Um, I've got this feeling I should be talking about something else. Something serious. Um, what else? Uh, oh, Fail Army. I've got a new video out. Stop everything. Um... What other reviews have I been watching that uh, appeal to me? I watched uh, Vaping with Twisted 420. Um, he, that uh, Joytech e-grip. I looked a funky wee bit of gear. I was quite impressed with that. Uh, and other reviews out there that have caught my eye and stuff that I'm interested in. Uh, quite like the, the Fumo that... Uh, What's that guy? That's what's that guy's name? Yeah, film director type guy. I think it goes by the name of Damien. Uh, ah, uh, bloody not bloody good vaping. A bloody good vaping. The the Fumo review that was quite good. From Imperial Mods. Uh, I, 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 and I'm, I'm rambling big style, so I'll just shut up now. So have a lovely weekend. I will be sitting in here, not for long, because I've got, I've done, oh, two reviews are already live, ready to go, no, one of them is, um, I think it's the, you had the Pina RDA by Fakirs went out, the Orus copper mod will go live tomorrow, I've recorded that already, and the Nitro R have to record as well. Once again, the Nitro R I feel bad about because it's had its launch date and all that, and I went off for the month, so I kind of missed the launch for the review. Uh, the review will be a pretty much a positive, 95% positive, because uh, I do think it's a really good atty. Um, and then next week we've got the Neutral Works, we've got the, the Trojan and the Shield, uh, we've got the what, Bob from Meccano Mods, uh, the gizmo and the science of vaping drippers so that's all on the cards for next week and that's me um, if I say hello to anybody shout outs I think I've done them I've answered all my emails and stuff uh, I'll say <laughs> Adam you know who you are I know I've not replied to your emails mate I'm really, really sorry, uh, and I will teach TJ the whistle. Thank you. 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 Um, who else haven't I replied to? That's it. Oh, I got it's somebody in Australia. Um, Mick. Mick. Pete Track. Uh, he's asking me to spread something. Um, Oh, I think it's this whole, remember that Western Australian thing? Um, you know, when they used that stupid law, you know, where they could ban e-cigs in Western Australia or whatnot. Uh, I think it's that vendor again is still trying to raise money. Uh, GoFundMe.com, e-cigs, our right to choose. All individual words with hyphens. Uh, he's trying to raise money uh, to fight. Um... Aye, I've talked about that before and I've linked it before and so on, but I uh, just thought I would mention it because uh, Mick sent me an email asking me to mention it. Um, I don't know if I'll be out here next week. It depends on uh, the weather and how cold it gets. Uh, did I show you that one? I did. I showed you the Vandal, didn't I? Classic Fog. Um, i tell you what, I will have to review at some point. Or not review. I don't know if I'm going to review it. I've had it for quite a while now. Uh, the the real squonker. Really like it. It's just as I said before, it's not for me. But I'll review. I probably will do a quick review, just giving my thoughts on it and whatnot. And it won't be anything I haven't said already. You know, I like it. It's not my. I'm not a fan of the styling, but I can appreciate why people like it. Um, 
So there you go. Don't bother watching the review because that's all I'll say. Um, I, 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 yeah, shut up. I'm going. Have a good one. Bye. Yes, bye. Go away. I'll see you later. Bye.